What's up? I'm Shade. Thank you for joining me back for my astro series and we're going to dive deep into the second house. Now, what is the second house? So second comes after first. First house is all about self-expression, personality, how you assert yourself into the world. The second house is about your values and your belief systems. What do you care about and why? And the reason why this house is so important is because we cannot find a sense of self if we do not understand what we value. If we do not have a belief system, then we do not have a sense of self. Now, the second house is ruled by the sign Taurus and the planet Venus feels very comfortable having her office here. Now, when you work with the second house energy, you really want to decide what is it in the world, in the life that you live, in the life that you lead, that you care about. And when you go off to decide what it is that you care about and what you believe in, that's when you're able to truly assert yourself in ways that have meaning, in ways that have foundation, in ways that have depth. Now, the second house being ruled by Venus is about values in the material world. So that could be value in having a house because you value foundation, value in having a marriage because you value love, value in having a job that you care about because you value money. So once you really figure out what it is that you even believe in in this lifetime, then you can truly assert yourself and be a lot of who you are. Now, the second house is a fixed house. And why this is important is because if you do not have a fixed sign in this house, then you're probably not going to be uh, stubborn in your belief systems and your values. For example, I have an air sign in this house. I have the sign of Gemini in my second house. So what that means is I can value something at this moment, but I can see the duality of how valuing the opposite of what I may value now can also be good. So what that means is constant fluctuations in our values, in our belief systems. Now, the benefit of that could be, well, you're adaptable. And when things change around you, you know how to shift to something else that can be valuable in that moment. Now, the challenge of having a non-fixed sign in this house is security. When you are constantly changing what you believe in, then it's easier for you to be insecure about things. And that's why with fixed, stable energy, it helps you to really develop self-worth, self-importance based off of that value. When things are constantly changing, you have to really figure out what is my worth? Even if things change around me, I have to figure out what is that worth? And that's what makes the second house really important. Now, the second house is also where we can find wealth. Because Venus in this house rules money, I can usually see by looking at a person's chart and how strong their second and eighth house is, what's going on in their finances. Do they care about finances? Does finances come easy for them? Are they here to build financially? For example, if a person has Capricorn in the second house, then that person cares a lot about their finances and they don't care about their finances for the sake of having pleasure. They care about their finances for the sake of building wealth for generations to come, having that foundation to live on beyond them, right? Because Taurus energy, which is the ruler of the second house, is all about that pleasure, right? I'm making the money so that I can live the life that I want to live. But if you have a, a visionary sign like Capricorn in that second house, then you want money not for the pleasure of yourself, but so that the people coming after you can have generational wealth. Let's say if you have the moon in the second house, if you have cancer in the second house, or if you have the, the moon placed in your second house, then that means that you're emotionally attached to your values and your belief systems and what happens with the moon. The moon is always changing. Right. So our security in what we value changes. Finances are always changing. You may have moments of having a lot of income and then you have moments of having no income. Right. Because you have the moon energy placed in this sign. And because you are emotionally attached and invested into your beliefs and your finances and stability, if anything shifts, your emotions shift with it. And what that 
causes is for people to have to find internal stability use that earth energy to really ground yourself internally so that when things shift in your finances when things shift in your work life your love life your home life you're still grounded and you're still good the second house rules the things that we want and the things that we are willing to work hard for to achieve because taurus is earth energy and it's fixed so it's ready to stay the long haul to get all of the things that they want so if you have aries let's say in the second house or even mars in the second house you are determined to get what you want and no one is really in your way you are a determined person who is ready and willing to take what you want who knows what you want who knows what you don't want and you're willing to fight the battle to get what it is you want or what you desire because it's based off of what you value and when you value something you're willing to go head first into it second house also rules self-worth so depending on the sign you have in there or the planet, it can really showcase what do you feel about yourself, right? Do you have Venus in there? Do you view yourself as a sensual person? Do you have Mars in there? Do you view yourself as a determined, confident person? Or maybe you have cancer and you view yourself, you know, constantly moving and shifting in how you feel about self and how you feel about your security. Really check to see what planet, what sign you have in there. And that's going to showcase what you deem worthy about your self-worth and what other people give you. Now, because the second house is also the office of Venus, it is about our relationship to love, how we like to love, how we like to express our love. How do we like to have fun and enjoy the pleasures of love, the pleasures of our five senses? So check to see what sign is in your second house, as well as what sign is in Venus. What is ruling your Venus planet? And that's going to showcase how you like to enjoy the pleasures of life what are some things that you find pleasurable how do you like to express and experience that for me i have gemini in my second house and i have my venus ruled by libra so that's all air and i can just enjoy things and enjoy exchanges without having too much attachment to it so that's what that energy is going to bring so really look to see what sign or planets do you have in your second house and that's going to showcase the relationship that you have with money, the relationship that you have with enjoying pleasure, the relationship that you have in terms of your values and your belief systems. So that is all we have for our second house. Remember, second house is the house of Taurus and it is also the office of Venus. Thanks for joining my Astro series and come back where we will dissect the planet of Venus, the beautiful planet of love.